What is going on guys, this is Anders Larsson and I have a new reaction video for you. So I have a YouTuber here, Technical Village, and I'm sure that he's trying to make money online. So far, four videos uploaded to his channel. Like many YouTubers that want to start an online business that doesn't have the right information, I believe that he's hopping from one thing to another to see if there is a way or method that will work. I feel that he doesn't really have a plan, but what I like about this guy is that he's a doer. Just taking the step to create a YouTube channel and put content out on YouTube is actually a big step and I believe that he has the right attitude not worrying about if things are not perfect in the video so basically he starts with a keyword and he is talking about high CPM keywords sometimes he sneeze you hear traffic in the background and now he is searching for web hosting and he just types something and look in the search results and then he loads top10.com and go through different web hosts and just show people which is the best. In terms of reliability, a little bit of yawning, but that doesn't matter. It makes the video more likable, in my opinion. So what I think is happening on top10 is they basically have affiliate links and they have content that rank pretty high on Google but what is required to have a ranking website is basically time. It is like that with all kind of businesses that you can't be quick. You can't hope for a quick result. You need to persevere over a long time and I hope that this channel will persevere that he upload consistently because that is very important. This gives YouTube the correct signals that this is not a spam channel. So the first one is Dreamhost and I believe that as a YouTuber you need to give value to people. Not just take for granted that top10.com knows the best ranking web hosts but try to do a research. What is the bad things? What do people complain about? And do they respond on Trustpilot? Because when they respond on Trustpilot then it means that they care, so that gives Dreamhost, in this example, more credibility, I think. So this guy complains about the support, it's not easy to get help. But then someone else gives a 4 star rating to the support, because someone was really helpful. So now I only select the bad reviews. Worst customer service, won't let me close my account. And this is one thing I want to talk about, and that is that it is a good idea to choose web hosts that support PayPal. Because if you use PayPal, you can go into PayPal and close subscription or close recurring payment. And that way you don't have to worry about that they will not close your account. Customer service problems. But all web hosts has problems and 85% is good. Next one, Ionos, has a little bit more problems. Fraud sheet company duping money, but they respond and that is a good sign. Cancel the contract one month ago, they keep billing. Again, choose PayPal and close the recurring payment from there. Bluehost is even worse. But then we have Hostinger that has 82% excellent, but a reminder to myself, don't trust the five stars because it could be fake reviews. But here they respond and that is really good. So busy support, shocking domain, renewable price. So this is a pretty common thing. They try to lure people in with a low price for a domain. And then they have all of these up sales things and they have all these extra things that is kind of ridiculous to be without. So as an example, the ability to use FTP, maybe that costs $2 extra. I'm just giving an example. I'm not sure if that is the case, but it wouldn't surprise me so that you understand what I am trying to say, that all these extra things is going to be necessary, but they cost extra. But in the beginning, they exclude them to lower the price and bait people to start the order process. Because when they are in a long, annoying process of ordering, 
they are not so willing to abandon that process because they just want to get it done. And this is why it works. Here is another guy complaining about the domain price. Maybe the renewer thing is also about not only the domain, but extra services. I don't know. Hostinger must abide by the prices that each registrar decides. So the registrar is like Namecheap or GoDaddy, where you register your domain. So what I wanted to say about Hostinger, you see it's 82% and the previous one was much lower. So you can't trust the order that is presented here on top10.com because they could fake the order and pick the ones that paste them the most if it is an affiliate link in the visit site i mean they want to make a profit so you have to take that into consideration right here i give you a little bit of inspiration hosting paired is if you are hosting just then do something work with your budget then you want free to wear uh, and give you free to buy registration i mean it really Country doesn't matter if you have something to teach people then just yes, do it what i do think is a good idea is to provide a solution to people that want to make money online. Because if Technical Village's plan is to monetize his YouTube channel, it is going to be really hard because he needs to have 4,000 watch time hours in the current year that he is running his YouTube channel. And 4,000 hours is a lot. But if you instead use a solution then you can recommend people to use the same solution and for every video that you create it will add up and you get more and more people that signs up to that solution and this is how you can make money without having a lot of views or a lot of subscribers or a lot of watch time hours it definitely works i see results on my channel so pay attention to this because i share some very important information to you if you don't have any real plan and you're not sure how to make money online i realized that i was doing things wrong i hopped from one method to another trying different services i didn't know how to really make money online and this is because i read different blueprints on communities and guess what those blueprints was created by sneaky online marketers or that just wanted to get a hype going and then sell the services in other comments below the post it's a pretty sneaky system maybe i can talk more about that in another video but this is absolutely what is going on on communities and people get stuck in these blueprint posts I was stuck for over 10 years and that is time I can never get back. So anyway, if you are tired of getting tossed around by other people, then I have provided a link in the description and this link will take you to my solution that I use in my business. So click that link, you will get directed to a page with a red button. And if you don't want to sign up to my free video training, then click that red button and you will get access to one of the landing pages of the system that I use. And from there, you have the opportunity to get everything that you need to start an online business. If you learn something of value in this video, then why not give this video a like? This will definitely help my YouTube channel grow. And if you want more videos like this, then hit subscribe and click the bell notification so that you don't miss any of my new videos that I will upload. Take care, stay awesome, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.